and natural interview segment. I'm now being joined by the president of the Association of Small Business Owners in Nigeria, Asbun Femi Egbeshola, to look at the state of SMEs, its survival amid the macroeconomic challenges that is bedeviling most businesses in the country. Thanks for joining me, Femi. Femi, can you hear me? All right, it is indeed a pleasure. Let's just start by uh, this uh, report that we hear that small businesses uh, fold up due primarily to lack of basic financial literacy. Uh, you have been at Asbon for quite some time, and um, how true is this, and um, what has Asbon, or what can be done particularly about that? I did not get your question right. Please, can you take that? I was again? talking about um, SMEs actually uh, died in Nigeria as a, regards, uh, as a result of financial or lack of basic financial literacy. Is this true? If it is true, what can be done? Or what has Asbon done about it? Well, um, it's unfortunate that even in this 21st century, financial literacy is still a challenge to nano micro and small business owners. Uh, quite a number of us have not yet come to the reality of the day by embracing financial literacy. And that's why you will discover that um, many of us have challenges when this uh, new cash policy, cashless policy was introduced. It was difficult for quite a number of SMEs to migrate immediately from the cash-dependent uh, economy to a cashless economy. And then for us as an association, we take it as one of our strategic um, duty to ensure that um, we help businesses of scale, especially when it comes to financial literacy. Some of the things we do is that we engage them in training and retraining. We keep letting them know that there is no way they can survive in today's business world without em embracing financial literacy. And we're happy that quite a lot of organizations are also supporting us in ensuring that we are able to train our team members into becoming financial literates and in also engaging um, themselves in uh, uh, some sort of um, banking, um, uh, uh, trading and uh, businesses. They have been migrated now, quite a number of our members have migrated now from uh, the um, bank sector to become uh, uh, customers of uh, different uh, banks. And uh, this has helped their businesses. We also ensure that um, over time, we help them to navigate their businesses in a way of providing soft landing for those items, those gadgets, those digital issues that may be relevant to their businesses. One of such is that um, we arrange for them to be able to have uh, accounting software that they can access for free for the first one year without payments. And we believe that after the first one year, they'll be able to have funds to now begin to pay for it thereafter. With accounting software, it um, helps them to do their monthly and yearly auditing without the need of an auditor. It helps them to automatically file their, file, their tax returns and then much more. It also does the PR and the HR that the company needs from time to time. And this has also eased their business. We also make sure that we get them um, point of sales uh, machines, POS machines, at no cost. And with this, it helps them to make their businesses seamless. And we make sure too that um, their businesses are registered because it takes a registered business to be able to uh, engage with the banks. So we make sure they have their businesses registered. Those who cannot afford to register their businesses are immediate. We support them with some kind of funding while they pay back on an instrumental basis. These are some of the many things we do to migrate them from being financially literate to become financially literate. That's a very good one, um, FM. But let's look at uh, when I started the show in my intro, I talked about um, how most uh, small businesses uh, in Nigeria are not insured. According to the LCCI, just about 0.5% of uh, SMEs are uh, insured in Nigeria compared to what we have which are globally, which is uh, 54%. As important as um, insurance is to SMEs, I know we've had issues over the past uh, few years with uh, COVID-19 and other issues that actually affected the global economy, what would have thought that SMEs would have gotten some sort of a buffer if they were insured? So is it like Asbon, or is it that Asbon is actually opposed to uh, uh, insurance, or somewhere I read that you said that um, insurance um, has failed um, small businesses. Can you um, expatiate, please? Uh, well, um, over time, uh, 
Nigerians in general and business owners, particularly micro and small business owners in particular, are uh, averse to insurance. And this is because uh, over a period of time, we have um, subscribed to insurance, and when it is time for claims, the claims did, did not either come or are delayed or did not come in a way or in the, in the quantity that we we'll have expected it to be. And that has um, actually uh, uh, discouraged quite a lot of small business owners from embracing insurance. And um, one of the reasons, as we have highlighted the other time, is because um, the awareness is not even there now. Uh, how many Nigerians, how many SMEs are actually aware of the benefits of insurance? In other climates where we have 70, 80 percent of uh, uh, the population embracing insurance, we have less than 10 percent here in Nigeria because the awareness is not uh, done enough. And I think this is a time that insurance um, companies need to wake up to do more awareness than they have been doing before. Uh, we also discovered that um, one of the issues that we face as business owners is that um, uh, many of the policies are either too expensive, they are not affordable to us, to some, the, the documentation is just too lengthy. Many of our members are not uh, too uh, too good in reading lengthy documents, and some of them are worded in such a way that it's only lawyers that can understand them. So I think it is time for insurance companies to begin to break this down, right. to see how they can word them in a way that a common man on the street can understand, do them in less uh, in less uh, seamless way, such oh. that within one or two pages, we're able to get what you want and sign up if you are interested in insurance okay. and target it to the specific needs of the SMEs. We have different needs at different sectors. The particular need of an SME who is into the agri sector is different from the person that is in the ICT sector or perhaps in the trading sector. All we right. need insurance that can be targeted to our needs mm. such that it will be able to meet what we want and that will help us to be able subsector. to appreciate insurance the more. All right, uh, Femi, uh, very quickly, uh, we have to wrap up, but I need to get um, two questions uh, just before we go, so you just have to be very prompt uh, with your response. Firstly, I want to talk about um, the country's um, tax system. Over time, um, most businesses, even the average Nigerian, complains about double taxation and, um, or multiple taxation, as it were. Uh, very quickly, how would you say the impact of uh, regulation, specifically in the tax system in Nigeria, has affected um, small businesses? The tax system in Nigeria still leaves much to be desired because um, we are faced with so many taxes. Many of them are multiple taxes. Many of them are, are just uh, coming from the blues. And um, I think it is time to advise governments to, one, make sure that um, taxes are uh, harmonized. We have harmonized taxes. We, and also, those taxes should be made public. Everybody should be aware that if I'm in this uh, particular sector, these are the set of taxes I am eligible to pay. So many other person comes demanding for different kind of taxes. I'll be able to say, no, this is not right. Today we have taxes from federal government, local government, state government, and uh, many of them are multiplicated. In today's uh, business, you can see some of, some of the business owners confronted with over 100 different taxes. That is killing, and it's not, it's not helping business. Right. Government needs to do more okay. about harmonizing taxes. Yeah, as we round off uh, with you now, Femi, let's talk about something that's equally important. Uh, you know, uh, recently, the National Bureau of Statistics, MBS, reported that Nigeria's inflation rate rose to 22.04% in March. Uh, in clear terms, how has it affected small businesses in Nigeria? You have 30 seconds to answer that, Femi. It has made a lot of small businesses uh, close shop. I can tell you that uh, quite a number of um, business owners have closed shop. Well over 20% of businesses has folded up because of the high inflation we have experienced, particularly from the COVID-19 year to this uh, particular time. It makes it impossible for us to operate. Oh. First is that um, it has uh, depleted the purchasing power of the consumers, so the consumers can no longer buy as they used to be. For those who are buying up to 40, 30 products, a quantity of a particular product, can no longer buy even half of that particular quantity. And for us also, who are the, the business owners, we are challenged with the issue of our raw materials. Inflation has eaten our capital. Uh, if you need to get, uh, for example, um, 50 kg of a particular raw material before, 
You need that same fund you need two years ago to now get about 15 or 20 kg right. of that same quantity. And what does this imply? It implies that um, we need to begin to now cut our overhead. And that means that um, we have to shed some weights. One of such weight is uh, reducing our staff spend, which is also increasing unemployment. Okay. And this is not good enough. We are hopeful that in the new government that is coming on board, uh, they will work around the clock to checkmate inflation so that the economy can grow. If the small business owners are able to grow their businesses and upscale, the economy itself will grow. Right. We'll be able to do more exports. We'll be able to also compete more globally, and it will be better for us because right. it will you, end Femi. up in a, a reducing a joblessness. Thank you so much, Femi. We do appreciate the time and all of the uh, inputs that you have uh, brought to the show this morning. Femi Egbeshola is the president of ASBUN. That's the Association of Small Business Owners in Nigeria. Thank you so much. We do appreciate your time. All right, we'll move on Thank next. Thank you once so, again for having me. All right. <laughs>